Praxair's grab-and-go digital advanced respiratory system is a convenient way to deliver portable medical oxygen. This video introduces you to the specific features of the grab-and-go digital. It will explain the setup, use, and its new alarm features to help ensure you use the system properly and safely. We'll also provide instructions for the correct handling and storage of the grab-and-go digital and we'll review the safety precautions for working with oxygen. The grab-and-go design combines an oxygen regulator, medical gas valve, and digital pressure gauge in one system that is permanently mounted on a portable medical oxygen cylinder. As with past grab-and-go designs, it eliminates the hassles of locating and attaching a separate regulator to help you save time and money. The digital gauge is at the heart of this system. The gauge indicates the cylinder pressure and estimates when it's time to change the system. The grab-and-go digital system includes alarms that activate when cylinder contents are within 10 minutes of reaching low content and again at pressures below 300 PSI. There are also visual indicators for low battery or if the unit has high or low temperature. While the use of the grab-and-go is simple, remember that pressurized oxygen vigorously accelerates combustion. As with any high-pressure oxygen cylinder, proper safety practices which are found in the operating instructions must be followed at all times. The grab-and-go digital system contains an integral regulator and a flow adjusting knob to set the oxygen flow in clearly numbered increments. The new easy-to-read digital gauge displays a continuous indication of cylinder pressure and an auto-calculated readout lets you know how much time is remaining at the current withdrawal rate. It also has a user-activated backlight for use in low light conditions. The new grab-and-go digital alarms visually and audibly when the system needs to be changed. There is also a warning red backlight to notify you when the battery is low. And as with all grab-and-go products, the tough plastic housing doubles as a convenient handle for ease of use. The grab-and-go digital system provides flow rates from a half liter to 25 liters per minute at the barbed outlet port. The system also comes equipped with a threaded DISS auxiliary connection to deliver higher flow rates when needed. When the flow adjusting knob is set to A, this port provides unrestricted high flow rates of up to 100 liters per minute at 50 PSI. The grab-and-go system provides calibrated flow only when clicked into position at the flow rates marked on the flow adjusting knob. Do not attempt to use the system between marked flow settings as there is no calibrated flow between settings. If the intended flow is not marked on the flow adjusting knob, do not attempt to use the system. The use of higher flow rates on particular patient subpopulations can be unsafe. Consult your physician for a different flow rate or a different system. Before using the grab-and-go system, check the label to determine that the cylinder contains oxygen. Do not assume the cylinder's contents based on color alone. Next, check the contents gauge. If the gauge indicates 300 PSI or less with the LCD bar in the red zone, return it for a full system. If the gauge is blank, do not use the system and return it for servicing. More information about the gauge function and alarm conditions will be addressed later in this video. Before attaching the oxygen tubing, inspect the barbed outlet port to ensure oxygen flow and cleanliness of the port. If you notice or suspect oil, grease, or other contaminants, do not use the system. Do not attempt to repair the system. Separate the contaminated system from active systems to avoid it being used inadvertently. Notify your Praxair representative immediately. With the barbed outlet port facing away from you, turn the flow adjusting knob clockwise to purge the system. Then turn the flow adjusting knob counterclockwise to the off position. The off position is marked by a series of dashed lines. It should be tightened firmly, similar to a faucet. Attach the oxygen tubing to the regulator's barbed outlet port located directly above the digital gauge. Make sure the tubing is not folded, kinked, or crushed. To activate the flow of oxygen, turn the knob clockwise from the off position to the desired setting. Never force the knob. It has a limited range of travel of about 300 degrees. Always verify flow at the patient's end of the tubing before oxygen is administered. 
The grab-and-go system provides calibrated flow only when positioned at the flow rates marked on the flow adjusting knob. These are marked in liters per minute. As you turn the knob, you will feel the knob click into place. The first flow position is about a quarter of a turn from the off position. Do not operate the system between marked flow rate settings. Oxygen flows properly only when the flow adjusting knob is stopped at one of the numbered click stops. If the intended flow rate is not marked on the flow adjusting knob, do not attempt to use the system. Consult your physician for a different flow rate or a different system. To turn the system off, rotate the flow adjusting knob counterclockwise. Turn until you feel the knob tighten fully, as if you were turning a water faucet off. Do not use excessive force to turn off the system. Stop rotating the knob when the system begins to feel tight. If required, the Grab and Go Digital can be connected by the auxiliary port to deliver unrestricted high flow rates of up to 100 liters per minute at 50 PSI. Connect the oxygen supply hose to the auxiliary port DISS threaded connector. Rotate the flow selector knob clockwise until the A setting is visible in the flow setting window and verify flow at the device. Never attach a patient directly to the auxiliary port. The auxiliary port's flow rate is not regulated and excessive flow to the patient will result. When the flow adjusting knob is in the A setting, no oxygen is supplied to the barbed outlet port. The Grab and Go Digital System features a low content warning and audible and visual alarms that will notify you when oxygen content levels are low and to replace the system with one that's full. Before using the system, inspect the gauge to ensure adequate battery power is available. The gauge face should be fully illuminated, showing the contents level in a bar scale at the top and pressure value in the middle of the display. If the gauge is not illuminated, this means the battery has been fully discharged or is low on power. Do not use the system. Isolate it for service and use another system. Low battery power is indicated with a BAT reading on the gauge. In the event the system begins to lose battery power, the system will continue to flow oxygen as long as there is adequate pressure in the cylinder. The gauge does not control the flow of oxygen. It is only used for indication of cylinder status. When the low battery reading and red backlight is on, or if the display is blank, do not use the system. Isolate it for service. The system should be replaced with a new system as soon as possible to ensure adequate cylinder pressure and alarms are issued for low content. One of the most convenient features of the Grab and Go Digital is the time to replacement indicator and alarm that sounds if the contents get too low. The Grab and Go Digital system auto calculates the time to replacement based on the current oxygen withdrawal rate. Once turned on, the system calculates a usage rate and displays a time in hours and minutes for the system to deplete to 300 PSI. This time is an estimate only, meant to assist you with managing system replacement. Any change in flow will be updated as the system senses the higher or lower oxygen withdrawal rate. Updates to the time will not be immediately apparent and may take several minutes. Once the system is turned off, the time calculation will be automatically repeated to verify the oxygen withdrawal rate if the system is used again. The Grab and Go Digital has two alarm points. The first is based on usage and linked to the time calculation. If the system determines there are 10 minutes or less remaining, the red backlight will illuminate and an audible alarm will sound as a beep with a long stagger. The second alarm sounds when the pressure drops to 300 PSI as a beep with a faster, more urgent stagger. This alarm also sounds in the event the system fails to calculate a time prior to reaching this limit. The system will alarm at 300 PSI. A mute button can be pressed to temporarily silence the alarm for a period of two minutes, after which time the alarm will return. The system will only stop alarming when the knob is rotated to the off position. If any alarm condition related to the battery status is indicated, do not use the system or attempt to service it yourself. Isolate the system. Notify your Praxair representative immediately so that it can be serviced by qualified personnel. 
For optimum safety, it's important to understand the proper handling and storage of the grab-and-go. As with all pressurized oxygen systems, care must be taken. Regularly inspect the barbed outlet port for physical damage, traces of dust, dirt, oil, or grease. Inspect the auxiliary port in the same way. If you spot oil or grease or other contaminants, or if you suspect their presence, do not use the system. Do not attempt to remove the oil or grease or repair the system. Isolate it. Notify your Praxair representative immediately so that it can be serviced by qualified personnel. Portable oxygen systems are inherently subject to greater abuse than stationary systems. Avoid jarring or dropping the system. You should place it in a holder or cart designed to accept these cylinders. The grab-and-go system should be stored indoors to protect it from temperature extremes and the elements. Do not store it near heat or open flame. Choose a safe area where the system will not fall over or be damaged by falling objects. Never store the grab-and-go system in an elevated location because a fall could seriously damage the regulator or the cylinder. If a system is dropped or knocked over, check to see that the components are not contaminated, bent, or damaged, and that the connections remain secure. While it is very simple to use the grab-and-go digital system, remember that pressurized oxygen vigorously accelerates combustion. Materials that burn in air burn hotter and brighter in oxygen. Oil, grease, and other hydrocarbons can ignite violently or explode in the presence of high-pressure oxygen. Every grab-and-go system includes a pressure-reducing regulator and an automatically activated pressure relief valve. Continuous or intermittent escape of gas from the regulator indicates a malfunction or leak. If a leak of any kind is suspected, do not use the system. Never attempt to remove the protective plastic housing from the regulator. Never attempt to repair or remove the regulator from the cylinder. Call your Praxair representative for a replacement. Here are some other precautions to keep in mind when using any oxygen cylinder. Use the system only with equipment designed and cleaned for oxygen service. Keep the cylinder, regulator, and connections free of oil, grease, and other hydrocarbons. Do not lubricate. Do not smoke or allow open flames in areas where oxygen is stored or in use. Never wrap the system in bed covers or carry it under clothing. Always turn the system off when not in use so that no oxygen flows from the outlet. The system is designed for use above 32 degrees Fahrenheit up to 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Low temperature or ice may delay or prevent the flow of oxygen. Do not use or store the system near heat or flame. Do not expose the cylinder to direct sunlight for long periods or to any condition where the temperature exceeds 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep the system out of reach of children. To clean the cover, use a clean, lint-free cloth and water. Do not clean with flammable liquids such as alcohol. This system is only for use by or on the order of a physician. Do not activate the system unless you've been trained in its proper functioning or are under competent supervision. Never use the outlet port when the auxiliary port is in operation. Avoid extended use of this system except on the advice of a physician. The cylinder contains high-pressure USP-grade oxygen. Any continuous or intermittent escape of gas from the regulator indicates a malfunction or a leak. Leaking systems should be turned off and placed outdoors. Mark the system as unserviceable and notify your Praxair representative. The grab-and-go digital system is attached to an aluminum cylinder and is MRI conditional up to 3 Tesla. Do not take a steel cylinder into an MRI environment. Before using the system, read the label and verify that the cylinder contents are labeled oxygen. Do not assume it contains oxygen based on its color alone. Before using the system, please read and understand the full list of safety precautions we provide in the operating instructions. At Praxair, we hope you enjoy the convenience of the grab-and-go digital system. Its simple design can save you time and money. It's just one more example of the many fine products and solutions Praxair Healthcare Services is proud to provide.